coming off of this light over here and it's quite obnoxious. Uh, it's been what, 15 years? About that, yes. Uh, 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas, Baco. Edgeworth. What? What? This player, yo? What is going on? Hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the uh, rushing spring waters. Okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Uh, couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. Much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. Uh, in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Is the Loch Ness monster confirmed to be a hoax? I mean, I don't think we're there yet. Just like Bigfoot. <laughs> Boring. Uh, can't they show uh, real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick. <laughs> Apparently, Faye, but Faye Blood is no aid for... Uh, in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. They need to calm down with that red. Holy cow. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career as he thrown it all away. Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes! <laughs> Maya! A fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. I've got a sweater on my, my bed. But it's so far away. Uh, this is where it happened. Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal. There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Just you try say, uh, saying that again. I'll make you sorry if you do. So just 
Just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Recruits? Heh. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. Hey, you're that hairy guy, Harry Butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? Just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. Seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Mr. Edgeworth act or hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? You don't know, pal? No. Ah, okay. Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer? Head in the, huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. It's not him. Come on. He probably found the gun in a boat or something like that. Uh, how did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the, to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what that witness says? I care. <laughs> you really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that, that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. You know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently uh, no one he's been talking to will take his case. Why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Fortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. I've shown it to you three times already. I'm a boss. Uh, who is this witness? Sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up. Uh, another witness. Uh, that's why we're uh, uh, that's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Mine says Gord Lake Nature Park. Place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> You know, Nick, we've all been here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. <laughs> this, this glare is killing me. Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. 
Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh, laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have much, uh, so much free time we can spend, uh, spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. <laughs> Actually, he's right. <laughs> I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I don't want to see you like this either, believe me. Baka? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh. We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey. Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth? You didn't really. Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. I want Edgeworth to talk to us. What's up, guard? There you go, Edgeworth. Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth, let me defend you. Good one, right? But I'm not that, uh, not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. That was, uh, that was really nice uh, dialogue to get off of me showing him my badge. I dig it. Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Go back to the lake. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be, uh, be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. Suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? No, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? 
Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. I haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. Still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Oh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Hooray. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? We'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said about, uh, said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about, uh, not giving you information. Right. Now, let's get investigating. Criminal affairs? I'm a criminal! Uh, I guess I'm a little late on that, huh? Uh, wowzers. This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure Warren's are wowzers, though. Probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. Uh, I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> I mean, like, you know? Nope. Oh, that's great. Someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Is it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Not very clue-worthy. What about plastic benches? Plastic? I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. Doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya. She had a samurai dog. Huh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks. Right, exit. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. This suck a fool bird. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way. Do you spell gourd like the... I want to say jar, but maybe it's more like a vase. Is gourd spelled the same way in that regard as, uh, I guess, the vegetable or fruit? Or what is a gourd? Uh, I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually. But that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half ba uh, a little half baked. The banner reads "Samurai Dogs." Somebody needs to redecorate. Go into the woods. Oh, this doesn't look suspicious at all. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the uh, scene of a murder. Hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. Can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made out of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. Well, there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into, into the shadow where the sunlight can reach them. 
Sign says no camping. Funny place to pick a... Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Food and some magazines on the sheet. Takes a pretty tough skin to camp in, the co in this cold. Hey, nobody here, dog. Camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Nick, will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Well, it responded. Yeah. Hey, you get your hands off of that. What in the Sam Hill? Look at what you've done now. There goes a whole roll of film. What? Huh? Uh, sorry's nice, but it don't pay the bill or my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of, of that film costs? I'll pay you back. What were you thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folk talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Uh, well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> Nick, help. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Hey, hey, check yourself. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. That is crazy. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone. I'm not naming any names, but someone used up the whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that could get her attention. What? Did you see him changing the camera here? Someone? Okay. Uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges uh, be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have you know I'm a fighter and I wrestled uh, meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool. Why don't you all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. Uh, you too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. It, uh, I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. Uh, I can talk yank for ya if it pleases you. Thanks. Think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart. They all can call me Lotta. About a lot of mouth. Uh, I'm here uh, photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Having late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. 
I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. It's kind of hard to remember which I mean when. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh, me? Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at the university, Country U. <laughs> Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you, uh, photographing? Sometimes I want to say photography. And, you know, I know I'm a really bad person for wanting to say that, but it just comes to mind every time. Uh, didn't I tell y'all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine uh, Salingen. I'm gonna need Ken in here to pronounce that properly. Salingen? Isn't that where they make knives? Um, what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Device? Your camera went off uh, all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the, the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. Programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera. Neat. Oh, we add this to the court record. Ooh, what's up, Heels? Uh, Lada, yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises. A uh, yup. <laughs> Actually, the victim in the case we're searching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our potty, po party popper? I guess it would. Your camera. Didn't, uh, your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, you look pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look, see, at my film. Uh, it would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them, though. What if I got something? Uh, I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw. I'll go check that film. I'll come back now, you hear? I was really hoping they would make that connection without me doing it for them, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take me forcing it. What's up, Dante? Uh, she went inside her SUV. Guess we should come back later. Go to the rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Boat rentals are the first sign of murder? You know, a lot of CSI episodes definitely did have a, a, a boat in them. Uh, that sign kind of says Sigru... Cotties? Kitties? Kind of blurry. I don't know. A uh, small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. There's more forest off that way. Doubt I'd find any, more, any helpful clues in there. It's weird that it triggered down here. Very, very interesting. How about that there sky there there? There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick, huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. <laughs> Afraid I'll shoot you in the face?
There's a reason Phoenix wants to take Maya on a boat? Murder boat? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Guess we'll uh, come back another time. Hmm, we can go to a criminal affairs apartment. We'll see if uh, Homeboy slices. Okay, he's not here. Oh my goodness. What is that? Guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey, thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe, we just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, so can I DM. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. I just... Now that's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? Well, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial is starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I'd think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. See, Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that, yeah, I made a copy for you. Hey, sometime on the 24th or 25th. Uh, there's one bullet shot to the heart. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Wait, oh, I was like, what What do you mean photo of the victim? We never got a photo of the victim. That face, someone you know? I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. I'm drawing a blank right now. Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. I'm a lawyer. Okay. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted? I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? <laughs> Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a sign or I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department if that's the last thing I do. Good luck. These are the detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. Guess the detectives don't spend a lot of their time at their desks. No, oh, they're detecting. Must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. 
All right, hands against the wall, all of you. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes on them, or in the back of my head. Must be doing image training for arrests. Anything else? Not the floor. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. I mean, Grossberg's office. Right, that guy. I was about to say, like, we worked at that office and we never saw that guy. That was the last name I'd, uh, I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. We'll go there in a second. We'll just double check to make sure that Home Chick Slice... Uh, I don't want to miss out on, on this uh, thing, you know, if it's missable. Hey, y'all. Lotta. Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. Looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who is... Uh, who that is shooting. You but you can't really tell... Who that is shooting. It just reads weird to me for some reason. Uh, yeah. Well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But, you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. <laughs> What's that? Now, don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Didn't she say it was two photos? Later. Much. Wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Lotta. Don't let it get to your skivvies in a or don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. He left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Like photo added to the court record. Taken at 12.15 a.m., which means that it was on the 25th. Do they say their, uh, their last names? Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey. Oh dear. Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, do you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. How much you want to bet this is, uh... The first guy that we helped out. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. What'd I say? You know, I mean, I know he said his name was Nick, but, you know. I had to make the connection up by my own, by my own self. Larry, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, 
uh, Kianse <laughs> uh, deserves the best. Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. He was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought, me this co or she bought this costume for me. That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. It must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Fey. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick. Uh, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Oh, huh? sounds great. Don't worry, uh, Maya, he's not listening. What's up, yo? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. It was with Kianse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just, Kianse is not in town right now. He's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. Model, I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick. You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the, the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you and you go, girlfriend. You made me that, uh, that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake with... Uh, what with the big news? The big the big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry. Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a... Probosis? Probosis in his knee? No, oh, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. But what changed his mind, though? Do you know Nick? Nick? Hmm. What's Gordy? I mean, you don't know? It's here in this very lake, a giant mysterious monster, Gordy. Monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is the article from yesterday's paper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. What's this? I set the camera to automatic. And when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. 
Wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Do gunshots really sound like explosions? I feel like if you heard a gunshot, you're not going to say, man, something exploded. Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Huh? Well, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Because you blow it all on Kianse. But you can have all the dogs you want. Really? Larry, if you let her have your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem. That's what makes her happy, you know? How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? What's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, it was taken last night. Last night? Hmm. A gunshot is literally an explosion, so what else would it sound like? I feel like, I mean, granted there are different kinds of explosions, but I feel like explosions are, and I'm gonna go into some Mythbusters here, but you know, like Mythbusters used to blow up Ampho a lot. And it was more of like a, like a boom. And I feel like a gunshot is a bang. Does that make sense? Why can't I go to... There we go. I'll go here real quick, though. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Let's talk to this guy. Still hasn't gotten his painting back, I see. That old familiar clearing of the throat. You're Mia something, are you not? It was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. And you, you're Mia something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Ah, uh, yes. I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? Just got up, you see. While well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to, the, to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's uh, my just desserts. Old bitter desserts. See if he has anything to say. Hmm, strange. Feels though I've seen this man somewhere before. Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond, I feel like I've heard that name before. Can you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? So this is the moment the crime took place? Yes. Can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. Not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. I'm a lawyer. Really grown up uh, in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Just go on and take the compliment, will you? 
Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Wow, it really is all coming together. Perhaps you remember? Sure, someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does this case have to do anything with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. Mm. I, was, that was the first photo that we picked up, I think, wasn't it? Um, back when, like two cases ago, there were two photos on his desk. And one of them was of a, a lady. And then one of them was uh, the rich guy whose name is escaping me. But, uh, hmm, interesting. Let's chat. Red, white, or blue corp? Yeah, that guy. What's this? I was, uh, I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? No concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Uh, we'll present first. He's not going to talk to us. Let's show some stuff first. All right, I can't think of anything that I want to say about that. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. But you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. <laughs> Why you gotta look at me like that, man? Like, I'm trying to help you out. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You are always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would, it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. Uh. I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. Pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. 
And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, at Spear Medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. Now well, that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? I'm pretty sure there's no statute of limitations on murder. Just throwing that out there. Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. But DL6 went to trial? The guy was found not guilty? There shouldn't be a statute of limitations if it already went to trial? I guess there's that too. Yeah, like, first, there shouldn't, there shouldn't be a statute of limitations on murder. Um, but also, if a case was already um, completed, uh, then, then yeah, like, if, if you find new evidence, it doesn't matter if it's 20 years or 10 years from when the, the, the trial ended. Uh, I mean... Isn't that with, um, there's a, uh, there's a program, I want to say in the United States, but it could be a global thing, where, um, um, people, like, lawyers look at people that are in jail, and they look at their cases to see if there's anything that they can find inconsistencies with, and they, um, usually do it with like DNA evidence because a lot of the uh, murder cases way back when didn't have DNA evidence. And uh, they they basically run the case again and try to find new evidence to get these people exonerated and, and freed from jail. But I forget what it's, uh, uh, it's called, like something something project. Uh, so your father was a lawyer. He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? But if someone's found not guilty, new evidence can't be brought up to try them again? That's double jeopardy? I don't know enough about law to know if there's any special circumstances of that, so I'm going to take your word for that, Heels. Of course we'll help you out, Edgeworth. We do owe you one for helping us out on the last case. Uh, you can try someone who was found guilty to get them off, but not the other way around. Oh, right. You have to try them on a different case or like a, a different crime, basically. Uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. Uh, this is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake? Nick! It's a big one! Calming down. Oof. That was scary. They must be in California. Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor, in a ball, shivering. 
Guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. Heard of running, but curling up into a ball? Oh, well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Right. I have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Let's go talk to Grossberg real quick. Misty Fay, mother of Mia and Maya Fay. Show this photograph to Miles Edgeworth, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Not gonna give us any more, uh, any more of your time. Uh, C.E. What's going on here? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk, uh, came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Uh, why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. Can't go around covering up evidence. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she, she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it, uh, who it is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. Uh, she said it'll drop the quality a mite, but uh, should let us see who's who. You can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great, just great. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? What does that mean? Afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. It sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. The Edge Dog. The Edge Homie. <laughs> Look at what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file these papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys fell out earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. Pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. All right. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two, uh, go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! What are, I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. I was never that scared of them when he, he was in school. I should have went to the lake. And again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. What would happen to Edgeworth? Pressing the button.